I also told the church that as it keeps moving towards those days, that being the church in the culture is going to be harder and harder and harder. And in a lot of churches, the culture is going to flood into the church mm -hmm. and dilute it. And look what's happening. Yeah. So many denominations are struggling with, should we, you know, acknowledge gay marriage? Should we acknowledge this? Should we acknowledge that? And transgenderism and all. I mean, you know, we want to be politically, says, what's happening? The culture's flooding into the churches yeah. and to whole denominations that are being sunk by Paul. And that's not the only thing, but I mean, that's just something that's huge. I mean, Jesus yeah. said in the last days before he comes, it's going to be like the days of Lot yeah. in Sodom and Gomorrah. It's going to be like the days of Noah. They didn't know right from wrong. They just, whatever was wrong, they thought that was right. Mm -hmm. Flesh became corrupted. We're now doing gen genetic editing and CRISPR-Cas9 and pigs and humans and embryos in the womb and changing DNA. And oh my gosh, we're there. Yeah. And so now the church, the real church, and I'm not talking about denominations or even local congregations, but when I say the real church, I'm talking about the blood-bought, spirit-filled Jesus loving, unashamed of the gospel, declaring Jesus, standing in the word, church. Mm -hmm. That church is probably going to get smaller and smaller rather than bigger and bigger, yeah. as far as local congregations go. Because, look, I've seen it in my own church over the years. Not that we're getting smaller, we're still very blessed and God's blessing, but, but I've noticed a real thinning and weeding out over the decades mm -hmm. of, of people who Listen, we love the worship. We love your preaching, brother. Come and you stand on the word worship. But you know, we gotta, we gotta live out here. And you know, we just, you know, and then political correctness. I might lose my job, and I won't get a promotion. And I just, yeah, and then they flitter away, and they, they join some congregation where it's all the fluffy, fuzzy yeah. stuff. And narrow is the gate. Yeah, and, you know, and I, and I'm not judging their salvation. I'm not judging them. I'm not even trying to be disparaging. It's just I've been a pastor in one community, one church for three decades. I've watched generations, children grow into adults. I've done their weddings. I've watched them have their children. Mm -hmm. But I've also watched this generational shift of just what I prophesied. I didn't mean to be a prophet. Yeah. Decades ago, that the culture was going to so flood into the church. It was going to be a weeding out process. But mm -hmm. isn't that what Jesus said the last days? Mm -hmm. The tares are among the wheat. He said, don't pull them up because you don't know what God knows until the day of the harvest. Just keep going forward. Keep pressing forward. Keep pressing forward. And we're there. We are there. And it's going to get, I'll use the word worse. It's going to become more and more apparent that what I'm saying is true. Not what I'm saying, what the Bible says. What the Bible says yeah. is true. Have you ever wanted to experience deep and glorious truths in God's Word, from Genesis to Revelation, as if you were actually there? In this incredibly unique book, Glimpses of Glory, from longtime pastor, media personality, and internationally acclaimed best-selling author Carl Gallup's God's love for you will come alive as you walk directly into the Garden of Eden, where Adam and Eve encountered the great tempter. You'll be placed inside the ark, experiencing the horror of Noah's family as they heard the agonizing cries of their neighbors, struggling in vain to survive the deluge. And the anguish of our Savior will explode into intense reality as you witness His struggle with human emotion on the night He was betrayed. But that's just the beginning. In Glimpses of Glory, you will accompany Joseph and Mary on the arduous journey from Nazareth to Bethlehem's manger and beyond. Be present at the working of Jesus' miracles, His baptism, and labor during the wilderness temptation. Stand in shock at the foot of the cross. Linger at the deathbed of John the disciple and witness His entrance into final glory and so much more. So take a personal journey with the Savior from Genesis to Revelation. Available now at skywatchtvstore.com. Order now or call 1-844-750-4985.